Hello, what's up guys? It is Dr. Mozum Tevana here and in today's class we are going to talk about the identifiers of IMZ, uh, TIMZ and mo mobile station identification number and why, what is dif the difference between them and why are they used. Now first of all we are going to talk about the IMZ or the International Mobile Subscriber Identity. This is basically identif uh, identity of a uh, user who has subscribed to a mobile network that means that he has bought the SIM of a mobile operator and we call him a subscriber. So MZ is the, uh, the identity of the person uh, who is using a network using a SIM card and this MZ is basically is the stored in the SIM card and it is due to this MZ that this subscriber is unique uh, all over the world so if this subscriber goes from one country to another country and in that country uh, the operator has an agree roaming ag ag roaming agreement with um, the operator of who uh, of whose SIM this subscriber has bought then uh, in that country this subscriber can use that network on roaming because his identity is defined by MZ which is unique all over the world. Now what are the uh, different fields that are there in the MZ? As I told you earlier that MZ is stored in the GSM uh, SIM card and first of all uh, you have the mobile country code it is a three digit code and you should not uh, confuse it with the country code which is used for the dialing purposes for example the dialing code for France is not 208 rather uh, mobile country code is a code which uniquely identifies all the operators or the mobile network of France as compared to the uh, world so mobile network of France is basically known by the mobile country code which is 208 but it is not used in the dialing and then you have the mobile network like in France you have the operators like SFR and Bouygues so they are identified by the mobile network code of 10 and 20 respectively and then you have a mobile station identification number and this mobile uh, subscriber identification number is given by the operator whose SIM the subscriber has bought so and this MSIN number along with mobile network code basically makes your network mobile subscriber identity and if you combine it with mobile country code then this is your MZ which is a 15 digit uh, number and uh, as MZ is the identity of uh, a subscriber so uh, it rarely leaves the mobile station or it, uh, or it is rarely sent over the air interface uh, it is only sent uh, used on the air interface between the mobile on the wireless channel between the mobile station and the base station when for example uh, a mobile uh, is powered up it was switched off and when it was powered up basically it will register itself with the network so uh, to register itself with the network and to ident identify itself this mobile station will use the MZ but after that a TIMZ or temporary mobile subscriber identity is assigned so that MZ is no more sent over the air interface and its possibility of its hacking is small now we come to the identifier of TMZ or temporary mobile subscriber identity now the um, serving area of an operator a mobile operator is basically divided into MS different MSC areas and in each of the MSC area you have a, a VLR which is associated with 
the MSC. Each MSC has its own VLR. And VLR is responsible to store the temporary data of a mobile. So this is the VLR which assigns the Tim Timzy or temporary mobile subscriber identity. And uh, Timzy is basically changes. Uh, it can change uh, call by call basis. It can change with time. And this is basically the operator that defines that uh, how frequently the TMZ of a user will change. And on the mobile side, TMZ is stored in the SIM card. And in the network side, TMZ is stored in the VLR. And it is not stored in the HLR because, uh, because TMZ is uh, temporary uh, identifier for a mobile specific to that MSC in which the mobile is roaming. And so basically uh, when we talk about MZ and we talked the various fields in the MZ like mobile country code, mobile network code, M MSIN number, TMZ has very much similar format but it is a temporary identity. And then you have the MSISTN number or mobile subscriber ISTN number. Basically mobile subscriber I ISTN number is that number which is used for the calling purposes. For example, uh, when I want to call someone else, I will use his MSISTN number and each one of us knows this number well. And it is composed of country code, the dialing code of a country, in this case which is 49, uh, it is the dialing code of Germany. And you, then you have national destination code. This is uh, the code for dialing a specific uh, mobile operator in Germany and which is D1 in this case and then you have the serial number which has been assigned by the D1 operator in this case and it is 520 5787.